Well, you told me I had to get the night off, borrow the lady's gown, and come here to a wonderful party. I wrote that. Somebody must be playing a joke on you. A joke? A joke? Oh! Oh. Well, after all, a chambermaid in such a gown. You're not exactly Comil Foe.
Your Highness, I hear that your guests are enjoying themselves in the gambling salon. Wouldn't you care to join them? Indeed not. I might win by chance, and that would bore. But perhaps you, Lady Divan, would like to test your luck uh, with the content of this portemonnaie. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> now, tell me more about your play, but... Well, let us say that in reality, Your Highness, uh, Mademoiselle Olga is the chambermaid of our hero. Oh, boy. Mark here and I! And here is our hero in person. There you are. I came as fast as I could. Where are they? Who? Those lovely, lovely ladies you promised me. Well, some are already in the champagne bath. Oh, yes. But wait, you can meet them later. First, I want to introduce you to our hostess, Prince Olofsky. Marquis, I am delighted to meet you. Oh, I am honored, Your Highness. You are welcome here. Uh, welcome to spend the night exactly as you please. Exactly as I please, Your Highness? Well, uh... Ivan, but... A question, Marquis. Yes, yes. I want you to enter me as a gentleman. A fair part reservation. Open heart! Please, uh, please. A friend, you drink a glass of vodka with me. I beg your pardon? Will you drink a glass of vodka with me? Ooh, yes, yes, of course, Your Highness. Sit down. What? Uh, sit down! Yes, Your Highness. Now, let me acquaint you with the rules of my house. Each to his own taste. Chacun a son goût.
Oh, yes, very much, very much, Your Highness. Not I. There was a time when I enjoyed everything. I had an appetite for everything. No, not even love gives me an appetite. <laughs> oh, my appetite for love, Your Highness, is never satiated. Oh, how oh, I want to be young again. Love. Laugh! Oh, Dr. Falke tells me that I shall laugh because of you tonight. Because of me, Your Highness? Isn't it right, Dr. Falke, that we are going to laugh tonight? Oh, I hope so, Your Highness. <laughs> oh, Your Highness, here's your portemonnaie. It's about the only thing we didn't lose. <laughs> My maid in that dress. It looks like my wife's dress. Hey, his poor wife thinks he's in jail. This is your debut as an actress. Make the most of it. Marquis! Mademoiselle Olga seems to have impressed you beyond the birth. Oh, no. No, Your Highness, it's not that. It's only the uh, resemblance. Your resemblance? Yes, uh, excuse me, Your Highness. Uh, Mademoiselle Olga, how long have you been? Mademoiselle Olga. About as long as you have been a Marquis, dear Marquis. <laughs> that face, that resemblance. Uh, to whom, Marquis? To whom? Oh, you look just like my James. <laughs>
first apologies, Mademoiselle Olga. There never was an actress like you. And not a marquee like you. Chevalier <laughs> Chagrin! Chevalier Chagrin, nom de plume, shall we say, for prison warden Frank. I begin to follow you, I think. Good evening, my uh, welcome. I'm glad that you've arrived, Chevalier. Let me present our host, Prince Orofsky. Welcome, Chevalier. And may I present a fellow compatriot, Marquis Renat. Marquis Renat! Yes, Your Highness. And may I present a fellow Frenchman, Chevalier Chagrin. I am sure you will enjoy speaking your native language together. We, oui, Your Highness, but uh, we don't wish to be impolite. Mais pas du tout. French is the international language of a high society, n'est-ce pas? Oui. oui. Uh, Chevalier, ça va faire? Quoi de guerre? Vive la France! Bonne chance! Uh, yeah. uh, vive l'amour! Toujours! <laughs> Uh, uh, café complet. <laughs> Chevrolet coupé. <laughs> And now, my friends, I want to ask for your discretion and cooperation. The prince is expecting an important guest, a Hungarian countess. Oh. A Hungarian countess? Is she pretty? Oh, she's glorious. She's very anxious to join our charming company, but she insists upon remaining incognito. I have... Uh, she's going to wear a mask. A mask? <laughs> I imagine she's married to some jackass of a husband, huh? <laughs> yeah! As far as her remaining mast, I have assured her that everyone here will respect her wishes. Oh, uh, you can count on us. Yes, uh, thank you. And now the prince invites you all into the salon for refreshments. Yes, yes that, re that resemblance is incredible. But let's put her to the test. Oh, what an original watch. It's adorable. Oh, I, uh, I might even have the pleasure of offering it to a charming actress. Oh, uh, what would you like in exchange? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk, we'll talk that over, shall we? Einstein's wife. Most gracious lady, welcome to our humble palace. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Falk tells me that you are from uh, Hungary. Street. From Hungary. <laughs> I was For the moment, I shall leave you in the best of hands. May I wish you a charming and interesting evening. Now, tell me, Parker, is it true what you wrote in your letter? Only too true, dear lady. A glance into the salon will show you. Look at your husband serving his sentence. Oh, Governor, with all those guns. It's disgusting. And who's that? It's our death. And in my gown, cut down. Chambermaid, your own Adele. 
Darling aunt, indeed. I've just the medicine for her. Oh, not tonight, my lady. I beg you. I hear them coming. Quick, I. <laughs> you seem to be having the time of your life with that watch. Ding, 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 Martin. <laughs> we never lost a minute or a girl. If only your wife knew. She's at home dreaming about her faithful Gabrielle. Yes. <laughs> Careful, that's the Hungarian countess I was telling you about. Isn't she ravishing? No, 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 no. Leave her to me. Conquest within ten minutes by my watch. Didi <laughs> Vici. Good luck, Conchie. <laughs> this is as much of a rogue as your Eisenstein. <laughs> my God, she seems to have paprika in her blood. Oh, what a wonderful voice. Tell me, where does one buy such a wonderful watch? At the wonderful watchmaker. I would love to have one like it. Would you like to know what time it is? I know exactly what time it is. But, um, tell me, Monsieur. Uh, uh, Marquis. Oh, Marquis. Are you married? Oh, heavens no. Whatever gave you that idea? Trust a feminine intuition. <laughs> Dear lady, allow me a question. Wouldn't you be more comfortable if you were to take off the mask? Not tonight. But tomorrow? Tomorrow? <laughs> no, uh, but tomorrow I will, I will be in a, a private conference. Private conference? Yes, and uh, no admittance to the public. How oh, tragic. You know, Marquis. Your boss, she's simply adorable. <laughs> if you will unmask for me, I might even weaken and present you with it. Oh, my husband would be mad for it. The devil with your husband. How right you are. <laughs> How exciting, how adorable, inviting such a flower I could shower with my kisses here and now. If she only would Must allow. A lady and the colonel, he approaches me as lover. Was a liar, never a sliar. And just you wait, dear Eisenstein. I will make you toe the line. I will make you toe the line. I Oh, my head, 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 my head,
Okay. 